Hello, my name is Keith Andrews. Welcome to this short introduction to myself and my series of lectures which I offer to cruise ship passengers around the globe. In the next seven minutes, I will outline my personal background, discuss my strategies for developing lecture subject areas, and briefly describe some specific lecture topics within those subject areas. I will close by outlining the format of my lectures and providing some contact information should you be interested in my services. So thank you for taking the time to view this short introduction and your interest in my work. Before my retirement in 2010, I had spent my working career in the information technology industry, or IT or ICT as it is sometimes referred to. I was a business consultant who assisted companies to develop an implementation strategy for large computer software components, particularly in the customer service departments within utility companies and financial institutions. My customers were usually international in scope, and therefore my work took me around the globe. As a result of the type of work I did, supplemented by some specific training, such as membership in Toastmasters International, I'm quite at ease talking to large groups. During my professional career, I often de delivered presentations to corporate executives and training in technical subjects to business managers. In my spare time, I became very interested in historical subjects, particularly in social and political history, World War I history, and transportation topics. I used to be a private pilot, so aviation history has always been a favorite subject of mine. In addition to my public speaking skills, I have a broad global perspective. I grew up in the UK, but I emigrated to Canada over 45 years ago. I've also lived in Italy and Slovakia. I've spent extended time in Australia, China, and India so I feel I'm empathetic to cultures other than my own. Today, my wife and I split our time between homes in British Columbia, Canada, and in the county of Kent in the United Kingdom. Since my retirement, we have cruised around the globe. In the Atlantic Ocean, we have cruised from New York to the Mediterranean, and from Greenland to Namibia. In the Pacific, from Ecuador to Australia, and from Vancouver to Vladivostok in the Indian Ocean, from Singapore to the Seychelles, and from Dubai to Durban. I have a good understanding of the cruise experience and how to enhance it. Now permit me to explain how I develop my lecture offerings. I take a three-pronged approach to developing lecture categories and lecture topics within each category. Firstly, they are based on my personal interest in the subject area since a speaker should be passionate about his topic if he expects his audience to be interested in it. Secondly, I strongly believe that each lecture should be relevant to the area of the world in which we are sailing, so as to enhance the destination experience for the passenger. And lastly, I recognize that not all passenger groups are the same. The makeup of the passenger list on any given cruise can differ greatly based on the ship, the itinerary, and the season. Therefore, each lecture must be tailored to the representative demographic groups. So by applying the three criteria I have just outlined, I have developed the following lecture categories. I'll describe them in detail in the following slides, but in summary, they are as follows. The Great Navigators, Manners and Morals, Literature and Landscape, Transportation History, and European Colonization and its Aftermath and more are in development. So let's take a look at a brief description of each of these categories. The Great Navigators is a series of lectures that outlines the history of marine discovery and exploration voyages throughout history. Each lecture outlines landmarks relevant to a given explorer and their relationship to any given cruise itinerary. These lectures can be delivered about an individual explorer or a grouping such as Portuguese, Spanish, Dutch, Early English, or a period, a time period such as the 19th century, etc. Manners and Morals is a series of lectures that expands on the current interest in TV period dramas by describing the social realities of the 19th and early 20th centuries in Europe and North America. 
The Literature and Landscape series is built on the premise that great works of literature often reflect the social and geographical background in which the author grew up. Examples are drawn to illustrate how these formative backgrounds are used by authors to set the stage for great literary themes. The Transportation History series is broad in scope, ranging from aviation history, such as Alcock and Brown's first successful flight across the Atlantic, or the death of Manfred van Richthofen, the Red Baron, to marine history, such as the sinking of the Lusitania or the Empress of Ireland. And these lectures are based on my own research of the event and supplemented by my own photographs of the sites or museum artifacts. As is, as is the case in all these lecture series, each lecture is intended to be delivered in the same geographic location where the historical event took place. The European Colonization Series was created after my world cruise in 2014, during which I visited so many former colonies of Britain, France, Portugal, and Spain. Almost all of these are now independent, and some have developed strong economies and a sense of nationhood. Others have not done so well. Each lecture explores the possible reasons behind the varying social development of former European colonies. My lectures run between 30 to 45 minutes, depending on the time I'm allotted. I will always allow time for a Q&A session, so I can fit a into a 45-minute or a 60-minute slot. Reading PowerPoint can tend to be sleep-inducing, so I only use slides to highlight the main discussion points in my lecture, not to deliver the message. Whenever possible, I will use multimedia to vary the pace and delivery of the lecture. I do not use any copyrighted material without prior permission. It's an important note that any lecture in any series may be combined with any other. To make up a customized series that is particularly relevant to the itinerary we are sailing on. For example, during a week-long Baltic cruise, we could include a combination of a great navigator lecture on the Dane Vitus Bering, a manners and morals lecture on the court of Peter the Great, a literature and landscape lecture on Anna Karenina, and a transportation history lecture on the MS Estonia disaster of 1994. Alternatively, a week-long cruise could stay within a single theme in any of the lecture categories. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and your interest in my services. Thank you very much for your attention and bon voyage.